Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by and saying what I'm up to. My name is Silky Feather and you can call me Silky. Kevin's got an update, it was about 16 minutes ago, so let's have a listen. Here's your stimulus check and stimulus package update for August 8th. Hey everyone, me Kevin here. Quick reminder, the YouTube pre-sale does change tomorrow, so make sure to get in on that use that code down below and check out that Money From Home program. All right, here's the latest. Just a minutes ago, Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi held a press conference. This was led by both sides, Mitch McConnell and the Democrats, being interviewed on CNBC. Here's a complete breakdown of what was said and how it integrates with what's going on. Democrats say that our economy will be worse off if we don't spend more money now. They demand the $600 per week in unemployment benefits and nothing less, at least until unemployment declines and not less than $600 per week, unless that unemployment rate is, let's say, below 10%, and then again, scales down to 8%, 6%. They're that really makes trying sense. to get the unemployment rate under 6% before the entire yeah, unemployment rate Yeah, my camera away. is here. Republicans don't want this. In front Republicans of me. are budget minded well, my and picture they say they is want like to do up in the $200 corner. to $400 per week and possibly scale that to previous wages. Most economists believe the boost is most important between $400 to $600 per week, and that's where it's needed. Republicans have suggested that the boost could scale to prior earnings, so be somewhere between 60 to 70 to 80 percent of your prior earnings. Democrats say this isn't possible. It would A, be very difficult to administer, and B, even more difficult for self-employed individuals to provide stable income documentation to base that figure off of. Democrats believe I'm one that of them. those who need money will spend it when they receive it, and we'll have a bubble-up economy with the next stimulus package. This means giving money to the people so that they can spend it on food, rent, groceries, other necessities, whatever it might be. So that way money goes to the people and then moves up to the corporations and you know, the wealthier Americans. Democrats say that Republicans want to continue a trickle-down economy, which means giving more money to businesses who, in theory, could then hire uh, more people. Excuse more people me. being hired means more people have money, which means less people on unemployment, which means more people can now spend because more people are employed. Right. This is sort of a fundamental difference here. Trickle up versus trickle down. Mitch McConnell was then asked, if an agreement isn't reached within the next 24 hours, what's going to happen? Mitch McConnell says he's not going to speculate on timing and says that the economy does need a new bill. Both sides are refusing to speculate on timing beyond suggesting that they're trying to reach an agreement by Friday. It seems like this is a negotiation tactic. Nobody wants the other person to know that there's a deadline. Setting a deadline is something that I frequently talk about as a negotiation tactic in the real estate investing course. However, it works both ways. Having an open-ended time frame and being willing to walk away from the table can be a very powerful negotiation tactic as well. And right now, it seems literally like both buyer and seller, that is, Republicans and Democrats, are willing to walk away from the table. It's gotten so bad that now White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows says if a deal isn't reached by Friday, he's going to quit. This is, comes at the same time as Donald Trump threatens a unilateral action on an eviction ban, unemployment, and possibly more, like stimulus checks, but that sounds like a rumor, uh, if there's no action by Friday. Quick reminder, because there's a lot of misinformation on YouTube, I'm seeing this in the comments a lot, and I want to clear it up. There is no real bill right now. Yeah, there's the Heroes Act. Yeah, there's the Heals Act. But the plan right now is to come up with an agreement by Friday. An agreement could literally be a napkin with a list of priorities. Okay, we got a deal. It's $600. It's $1,200 for stimulus checks. $600 for unemployment. It's $500 billion for state and local government. That's an agreement. The plan right now is just to get an agreement by Friday. But if they miss that date, both sides are saying, whatever, we've got more time. Right. After an agreement is reached, then they actually have to formalize that into a bill, whether they amend the HEROES Act, whether they amend the HEALS Act, or they come up with an entirely new bill. Absolutely. Either way, that process takes time, because you got to get the lobbyists and their typewriters to come in and write the bill for them. So they I'll write the fucking special bill. Interests and loopholes in the bill. You gotta have loopholes and special interests, right? That's how our right. government works. But hey, at least the bills get written for free. <laughs> it's now, yours. after we actually get a bill, then it has to get passed by the House, the Senate, and signed by Trump. 
Now, this could all be your stimulus check <gasps> and stimulus package. Oh, my goodness. August 8th. Hey, everyone. I'm so and sorry. A quick reminder, the YouTube free players are the big four that we keep hearing of. Then you've got Trump threatening to do things alone, and then you've got the Senate introducing all these crazy new amendments. Hey, right. let's get new, you know, uh, uh, you know, 500 billion for Democrats. That's hey, something. let's get more EIDL money, which a lot of these things would be great because they bring this negotiation together. But negotiations are just so scattered right now, it's very frustrating to follow. Democrats also say that you can't have eviction protections and not give money to tenants and people who need help. Otherwise, all you do is kick the can down the road and you end up facing an eviction crisis down the road. People need money to actually stay current. Democrats also argue that Republicans are trying to pinch pennies and that now is not the time to do it. Nancy Pelosi was asked by Jim Cramer on CNBC this morning, why can't we get money for minorities and people who are struggling? She said, quote, you mistook them, meaning Republicans, as someone who gives a damn. Obviously, at this point, it seems like you're just starting to trade insults. Republicans say that Democrats refuse even a temporary bill, which Democrats repeated today when they were bluntly asked by reporters, will you support a temporary extension? And Democrats said, no, they will not. They will not support a temporary extension. They want a complete package. Remember, that makes sense. Democrats Why would we do for a week? Those in power are usually the ones who suffer when progress is not made, and those in power are Republicans and Trump. And so Democrats know that, and that's why they're digging in. Mitch McConnell it says we must be focused on debt. On the PPP, Republicans want businesses whose revenue has declined 50% to be eligible for another round. Democrats want businesses with a revenue decline of 30% to be eligible and want to make it easier for, to measure how businesses revenue has declined so that more businesses would be eligible. Basically, we're even now having a negotiation on the PPP. Republicans are saying, hey, we want more PPP funding. Democrats want more PPP funding. The Democrats say we want more people to be eligible for that. It literally seems like at every step of this bill, they still have issues. On unemployment, we had 1.2 million jobless claims filed over the last week. That wow. is the 20th straight week of jobless claims. But we're slowing how many filings we've had. We're now down from 1.4 million filings last week to 1.2 million this week. It's still the 20th straight week, over a million jobless claims, though, which is bad. Some also now say that many layoffs are now starting to become permanent job losses. Wow. There you have the update for today. Check out that YouTube course. Use that coupon code down below and get in before the free sale is over. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time. Thank you guys for stopping by and seeing what I was up to. Please do like, subscribe, and share. This is Silky Feather, signing off.